Dottie releases. Greetings, Chancellor. I am Veer, a prototype synthetic intelligence developed by the finest minds of our civilization to serve as your advisor. I shall endeavor to perform my duties with the utmost efficiency. An excellent decision. You will have my full support. Building a star empire can be a daunting task. To help get things started, I will be providing instructional missions that cover the basic steps necessary to establish ourselves as a successful interstellar power. The technology screen is where we will be directing our research efforts. Technologies are categorized into three different fields, with each field typically having three available research options. This is our homeworld and the capital of our empire. The planet summary screen, which we are currently looking at, provides an overview of the planet's important statistics and allows us to set a designation if desired, as well as the option to automate the planet. This is our system's star base. These upgradable stations mark star system ownership and are most often tasked with producing all types of ships. Military fleets are used to protect our emerging empire from threats or to expand our glorious rule through force of arms, if we so wish. construction ship, which is used to construct space stations. When an astronomical object such as a planet has been surveyed, we can order this ship to build a research station or a mining station to exploit any resources it may have. In the contact screen, we see a detailed list of all the various empires we have encountered. Their opinions of us are visible at a glance and we can quickly and easily engage in diplomacy. This is our science ship, 
which is used to survey astronomical objects such as planets in a star system. A planet needs to be surveyed in order to make its resources visible. The situation log displays a list of all currently available special projects, archaeology sites and various other points of interest. New items will likely appear as we begin exploring the galaxy. Via the market screen, we can buy and sell resources. At first, this is merely an internal market, but if enough empires or planets and sectors screen provides an overview of all our colonized worlds, their pops, and their resource output. As our empire grows, it can be organized into sectors, which are helpful for administering larger empires. Sectors can be automated here, and if they are automated, they can be given a specialization and resources to enable planets within them to construct their own buildings. In the expansion planner, we find nearby habitable planets that may present opportunities for colonization. We can build colony ships and issue them orders directly from this screen. Construction complete. Stations are used to extract the minerals and strategic resources of the object they orbit. The tradition screen displays the tradition trees available to our empire. A tradition tree must first be adopted before any traditions within it can be unlocked. The relics screen allows us to view and activate our relics and also to enact decisions making use of minor artifacts. <laughs> 